What else do we have on this flight schedule in terms of operations? Uh, get sorted departures and get sorted arrivals. Um, it, 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 it seems like I made a decision here is that because I need to do so much reporting for specific airports and things like that regarding departures and arrivals and I need to organize everything uh, in sorted order then I decided to specifically have methods that somehow can find uh, appropriate departures appropriate arrivals perhaps filtered by the by particular airport and then uh, display them in sorted order but again display has nothing to do with these methods I, I, those methods will apparently return collections of flights specific to departures from particular airport or arrivals at particular airport and obviously what else is involved the the the, the time of the day and of course the, uh, the particular day of the week is also important because uh, we need to be able to uh, focus on, on, on those specific departures and, and arrivals in, in, our, in our design. So, uh, so th these are methods I will discuss later on, but, but they're already here and visible because um, I'm already planning that those will be very helpful, very helpful uh, methods to have. Okay, let's do a, take a look at the airline. Uh, <laughs> methods for the airline are not shown because they're just simply getters and setters, right? There needs to be a, a constructor which basically says, okay, give me the name of the airline, give me the code, give me the type of aircraft, whatever, there's, there's a few more capacity parameters we'd like to accommodate, and, and that's, that's about it, right? And, and then just get set would be all that the airline does. It really doesn't do a lot, you know, in, in our application in terms of, you know, there's no business side of it, just, just a record, the name, the code, and some parameters. All right, so flight. Flight, uh, flight class is a more, um, more elaborate because we need to do some work in our flight. For example, remember, uh, uh, well, first of all, kind of uh, obvious, uh, obvious parts of the flight is that we need to be able to access the departure and arrival records. Or, you know objects that store information uh, specific to departure and arrival so that's why there's get departure info and get get arrival info again nothing to do with user input we have these classes uh, or objects of these classes sitting somewhere in memory so these these methods will give us access to these objects and would like to get to their uh, data and so forth uh, so both get departure and arrival and there's this interesting method, which I think is one of the, uh, you know, one of the methods that represents business rules in our application. We said that we'd like to be able to restrict assignment of a gate to particular day, day, time, and uh, airline, uh, so that no, uh, uh, I'm sorry, airport. Uh, so, so that we say that n n n n no, uh, no gates, no, uh, no, the same gates should be assigned to uh, at particular airport to uh, two different departures, right? So, if it's the same, uh, the same time at the same airport, departures must be must be at different gates. They cannot be at the same gate. So obviously this is due to uh, logistics because we need to be able to check every, everyone in and it just makes sense to make sure that they don't get to their own uh, aircraft. You know, you don't want to be uh, standing there and telling, telling, you know, looking at their ticket and say go, go right or go left, it's just one gate. So uh, assigning departure gate requires some validation and that validation implements the business rule that we have described above that says uh, there should be, you know, a validation for assignment of the departure gate if at the same time at the same airport or not. All right, so uh, we have this method. Uh, clearly, I am also not showing any other uh, getters and setters, but they should be, we should be able to kind of 
you know, derive them immediately by looking at, of course, flight should be able to say, you know, get air, first of all, constructor of a flight will take a lot of parameters. It's probably going to take a long list of parameters because flight has all of this plus departure plus arrival. All of that is required to be able to construct a flight. Uh, so, but anyway, but then there may be also getters and setters such as get airline, get, get flight number, get status, get type, uh, and we'll already have departure info and get in arrival info and so forth. Similarly, in the departure arrival, or, uh, I keep saying record, but it's, it's like an object in, in memory, each one of them, we have uh, the day of the week, the time of departure or arrival, the airport code and airport gate, uh, same thing. Constructor to take all of these param parameters is required, plus we need to be able to uh, do, uh, uh, do provide getters and setters for, for this class as well. So this is an overview of operations and uh, the distribution of responsibilities between my classes. The next thing that I'd like to go over, and this is new today, or new as of yes yesterday, uh, some students were sending me email asking, do you have sample screenshots of a running application? And I added them. And uh, I would like to display them to you again. So, so now that you 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 have some idea that there are uh, you know those those uh, 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 objects sitting in memory. Some of them are collections of our objects, but the screen looks like this. So we say uh, welcome. Well, just some informative message about the uh, you know. You can. Uh, I would like you not to uh, feel constrained by everything that I'm showing today. What I'd like you to do is just to say, okay, it's a good example, but I'd like to do it my way, right? So I, you can copy this if you'd like, if you, if, you, you know, if you really prefer to copy things over, it's your choice, but you can do, do it your way, right? Um, there is no such restriction. These are just sample screenshots. I'm not trying to constrain you by, by this. And sometimes I think that um, by uh, giving you examples of UML diagram, by giving you examples of these sample screenshots, uh, you may feel really constrained. But just to clarify it, I, I don't, don't, don't feel that way. If uh, Perhaps if you want to do the minimal work to get by and get this assignment done, then perhaps it, it, there, it, there may be a possibility to just simply begin to, you know, sort of like copy and paste. Uh, th th that's, that's okay. You can make an exact copy of this. It's your choice. But by all means, I want you to think above these examples. And this is a good quality. I would say that this is part of your communication skill as a software engineer. Um, or, or, or other, you know, programmer titles you, 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 you can think about, uh, is that uh, sometimes, uh, you know, especially for a junior programming, joining a company, starting their career, and, and, and you will be seeing a lot of senior people, and you will be sitting in, with them uh, in meetings, and they will be talking a lot, and you will, like, half of what they say you won't even understand at the beginning. It'll be like, oh wow, this guy really knows everything, right? And so it, it you will you'll feel a lot of pressure. But part of your skill from those early, early steps and further should be that you should not feel um, discouraged by a fact that uh, you have less knowledge about something. Or likewise, you should not feel discouraged from critically uh, looking at user interface, at those design models, at those classes, and ultimately at the code, right? So if you, if you feel like something can be done in a better way, uh, you know, it doesn't mean that you need to jump right in and start making a lot of changes, but you, it's completely legit to bring, bring it up, like, you know, express your, your thoughts and, and, and share it with, with others, 
including experience programs and bounce your ideas with them and and and, and if you see them uh, that they've written like 25 different classes in the application and done it certain way it doesn't mean that you have to copy and paste you know parts of their code in your code that you need to do exactly the uh, things exactly the same way uh, use exact same name of variables um, th that's that's not what you should be looking for you should be looking for good examples good understanding which is the most important thing and then making your own decisions and doing things your own way and validate it with with your peers and validate it with with the uh, with with the documentation that that exists and 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 also feel comfortable on your own side because eventually you're going to be that experienced guy and everyone will be looking looking for and everyone will be you know kind of asking you questions for in in asking you for guidance in their careers so, but that, uh, you know, don't try to constrain yourself too much. It's okay to, to, to go by example, but you need to be um, uh, uh, consciously aware of the fact that you're doing it by example, but you could do it your way. That's very important, right? Because as programmer, um, you have your own vision. You have to have your own vision of everything then you can be productive and then you can actually enjoy what you're doing right because then you can essentially you know be critical of 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 other things and and be uh, more productive so anyway let's uh, let's move on let's let's finish this overview with with screenshots for this let me save it first